I got a stock that I think is gonna be taken over in the next 18 days, at least $7 per share or higher, and I'm gonna show you how to profit off of that. So let's take a look here at GoPro. GoPro is a stock that I've seen in the last two days on our eye in the sky, where we see positioning, and the positioning is similar to what I've seen over the last 15 years, where it looks to be where someone's putting money, building a position, because they think it's a possible takeover target. There's always loose lips out there. So when we take a look at a stock that's $5.60, it's always a wild card. It's always in play to be taken over. And when you look at the market cap or the market cap and also the, 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 the business model of GoPro, it sells cameras. And this is a perfect candidate for a company who wants to quickly get into a marketplace with market share to buy something like this, especially with how cheap money is. I mean, companies can borrow money at 0% now. So we're gonna see a lot of this uh, m a activity, especially going into the end of the year. So when we look at here, earnings are coming, are coming in a couple days here, which could be one of the reasons why we see that positioning, but I don't think so. So let's take a look here at the money. Let's follow the money. Following the money. So today, 17,000 contracts traded in the August six and a half call strike. So if we just look some uh, quick statistics here, 66,000 calls traded today against 6,400 puts. Now, when you look at that, it sounds, uh, it, it, it sounds obviously more calls traded than puts. And we have to start to boil it down to kind of see exactly what's going on here. So when we look at mid-market, uh, 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 mid-market uh, on the offer or on the bid, it's, they're about thirds. What we're looking at or what I'm looking at from previously that was on Friday that got me into this position and I have a, I have a position in GoPro, I'll tell you that in a second. But the Friday activity is what we're looking at here. And this has 19 days, at that time on Friday, 19 days to expiration. And you notice that 19,000 calls traded against 94 contracts of open interest. This is what we're looking at. This is where we follow the money. And this is how we make big returns. So we look at that 650 strike and they're buying it around 30 cents. And we look at today's open interest and, and we see that that open interest has increased to 16,000. So a majority of those buyers were positioning themselves and they also were in here. Now, there was an upgrade today. There was an upgrade and shares closed at, uh, at 560 and it was up about 6%. But today's activity looks to be adding on to it. So what we're looking at here is that earnings are in a couple days and prices need to get above six and a half. Well, if they're buying it, they're initially buying at 30 cents, so you got to add 30 cents to the 650 strike at $6.80, just to break even, just to break even on here. That's why when you look at this, it kind of makes sense that there could be positioning either of some possible takeover to come or some kind of catalyst that's going to make shares go higher. So we'll want to keep an eye on that open interest tomorrow, but the position I have on here is in the 550 and I sold those 650s on Friday. So I created a call vertical and that would look like this, buying the 550 and selling the 650. And I did that for 25 cents on Friday. Uh, so it hasn't really budged. And the reason why it hasn't budged is because if you look at the implied volatility today, it closed about 158 and we look on Friday, it was 135. So we had a, a, a big surge of implied volatility in those contracts, which also has me interested because typically we see that on demand of buying and that buying happens and it's one-sided, so the market's protecting itself. And that increase in implied volatility, especially shooting up that much, something's going on here. And that's why I think there could be something cooking here where GoPro in the next 18 days is either gonna go higher or we see that possible takeover happen. So keep an eye on this one. Let's follow the money.